joyful shout up to the Lord all you people Psalm 100 Amen. serve the Lord with gladness come before his presence with singing hallelujah know that the Lord is God it is he who has made us and not we ourselves we are his people and his sheep upon of his pasture it says enter his gate with thanksgiving and his God with praise be thankful to him and bless his holy name for the lord is good and his mercy is everlasting his truth endures to all generation hallelujah let's begin to thank god almighty that we have entered his gate with thanksgiving and his court with praise be thankful the bible says unto him and bless his holy name for the lord is good and his mercy is everlasting Bible says as many as has come to him he will no wise cast them away thank God for the might for, for his presence that is mightily present here and the Bible says in at the present in the presence of God there's fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore because we are here pray that the move of God will fill this place the weight of his glory will fill this place that everyone that has come here nobody will go back home the same way we have come in the name of Jesus pray that God Almighty will touch everyone he will bless any everyone the sure word of prophecy the sure word of favor that will transform our life God will give unto every one of us in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus are we praying let's pray let's pray with all of our heart let's thank God for what he has done from the beginning of dress on Monday on Tuesday Wednesday Thursday even Friday in Aberdeen and now we are here again it is by his mercy it is by his mercy it is god that works in us both to will and to do of his good pleasure pray that we appreciate god we thank you oh lord for what you have done we will not take it for granted we are grateful oh lord we are grateful we are grateful we bless your holy name we thank you for how thus far you have helped us you are god by yourself you will never change you will never fail you are the unchangeable changer the one who is who was and who is to come we thank you lord god for what you have done we thank you because you are home in important god the whole powerful god you are home in the present god the all present god the ever present god in time of need you are omniscient god the whole knowing god you know the beginning from the end the end from the beginning in the name of jesus because you know we are alpha and omega the beginning and the end you will never fail you will never change we thank you because you have done it before you can do it again let us be transformed let our life change in the mighty name of jesus we are praying in the mighty name of jesus we are praying in the mighty name of jesus we are praying hallelujah 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 second corinthians 3 18 says but with all with a with an unveiled face beholding as in the mirror the glory of god have been transformed into the same image from glory to glory just as by the spirit of god pray that everyone that has come here will receive touch and transformation of god in the name of jesus father we thank you take all glory all honor and adoration in the mighty name of jesus we pray and so therefore father we thank you for another opportunity to learn at your feet we thank you lord god because of what you have done for the ministration for the psalms for the worship praise and worship 
for the answered prayers already for all that you have done from the beginning and we commit your vessel Pastor Peter Olawale that you will use for us tonight that you were enduring with fresh unction from above you will empower him from fresh unction from above pray that the word that we bring we brought that would transform our lives in the name of Jesus the Bible says entrance of his word bring a light and understanding to the simple hearted we have come not because of what we know not because of our intellect but because of the simplicity of our hearts and we pray that God Almighty will bless us especially tonight we thank you for all that you have done we bless your holy name we cover every nooks and crannies of this atmosphere with the precious blood of Jesus father take all glory take all honor take all adoration in the mighty name of Jesus we pray let a believing believer shout hallelujah hallelujah can we give God a round of applause he's worthy to be praised let's begin to worship the king of glory the living God the mighty God the holy God the one that made it possible for you to be standing here begin to exalt his holy name he is beautiful beyond description marvelous for words begin to worship his holy name father we welcome you into this place we say take your place we say have your way we say do exploit we say heal the sick we say transform lives lord jesus have your way lord let your name and your name alone be glorified his word his word you almighty god we welcome you spirit of god we welcome you almighty god we welcome you spirit of joy we welcome you What? 
You don't run. 
praise the Lord. Amen. I'd just like us to just go ahead and just appreciate God. You're all welcome to God's presence on the 5 of Trex 2023. Just go ahead and say, Father, thank you for that which you've done from the one to this hour. Let's just go ahead and begin to appreciate God. Go ahead and celebrate God for the answers to prayer, for the victory that has already happened. Lord, we give you the praise for the testimonies. For that which you are set to do tonight, we bless your name, O oh God. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O oh God. We exalt your name, O oh God. We worship you, O oh God. Be thou glorified and magnified in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Amen. Amen. One. Today is the five. The five represent grace. The Bible said in Genesis 6 verse 8 that Noah found grace. May we find grace tonight. In Hebrews 4, 16, the Bible said, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to us in our time of need. I'd like you to pray tonight. Say, my Father, my God, even as I've come to your presence, cause me to find grace in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray. Say, Lord, help me to cause me to find grace. The grace I need to be rooted and established in dominion. Let me find it today. Upon this mountain of treks, 2023, day 5, in the name of Jesus. Lord, let my coming on this day not be in vain. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You are going to pray. Apostle Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. He said, I labor more than all of them. He said, but it was the grace that made me. You are going to pray, say, my Father, my God, by your grace, O God, establish me in your will in the name of Jesus. In every area of my life, O God, Father, by your grace, O God, establish me in your will in the name of Jesus. Lord, upon the five, O God, let me connect to the grace, O God, that we establish and cause me to be rooted in dominion in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Bible said in Proverbs 13:12 that hope deferred makes the heart sick, but the longing fulfilled is like a tree of life. You are going to pray, Father, by your grace. Terminate every delay in my life. Every deferred hope, let it come to an end by your grace. In the name of Jesus. Father, by your grace. Lord, terminate every delay. Every deferred expectation. Let it come to an end by your grace. Lord, by the grace I tap into tonight in the name of Jesus let every delay expire rabba baba baba ba shege de ge de ge de ide bozo godo ramba ga de ge de shege de ge de ge de ge de ramba baba baba ba ba riba ga da ba ga de ge de shege de ge de ge de ge de ribo godo bogo shege de rabba ga de ge de thank you father thank you lord in jesus mighty name we pray Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, said in Luke 1 25 that God, through his favor, has terminated that disgrace. You are going to pray, say, My father, my father, by your favor, terminate every disgrace in my life in the name of Jesus. Anything that does not line up with your will in my life, by your favor, bring it into divine alignment in the name of Jesus. 
Ede bozu gede, rambu godo bogodo, shi gede gede gede, rambu godo bogodo bogodo, shi gado bogodo zigede, manguda zegede, brogodu zagada, mando bogodo bogodo, shi gede 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 gede, riba gada bogodo bogodo zegede, raba ba 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 ba, raba ba 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 ba, zegede gede 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 bregede 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 bogodo 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 bogodo, zigada bagada bagado bogodo. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Titus 2 verse 11 said, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly loss. You are going to pray, say, Father, by your grace. Help me, O God, to obey and please you in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, by your grace, help me to fear you. Help me to obey and please you in the name of Jesus. Father, by the power of your grace, help us to say no to ungodliness. By your grace, O God, help us to fear you. By your grace, help us to obey you. By your grace, help us to please you. Rabba shaka ya basun to kurubo shikeke. Ide bo shikede breke di basun to kurababa. Riba godo zigede mundo suka riba baba. Shaga da baga degede. Ine bogodo bogodo. Riba gada baga degede. Shige degede 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 bregede. Ida bogodo bogo zigede. Ramba gada degede. Shiga da baga do bogodo bogodo. In the bogo do bo shigede, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Bible says in Ephesians three verses sixteen to eighteen, say that in love may have power. Beloved, you need power to be in dominion. We are going to pray tonight. Say, my Father, help me to be rooted and established in love. In the name of Jesus. Say, my Father, my God, help me to be rooted and established in love. The Bible says, if I pray in the tongues of men and of angels, but have no love, you are wasting time. If I have faith that can move mountain, but have no love, you are wasting time. If I give all I have to the poor, but have not love, I'm wasting time. Lord, help me to be rooted and established in love. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lastly, you are going to pray. That Father, what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, Lord, do for me tonight. Lord, say, Lord, surpass my expectation tonight. In the name of Jesus, what eyes have not seen, O God, what ears have not heard, what have not entered into the heart of men, O God, Lord, do for me tonight. That which will make me a wonder to my world, Lord, do for me tonight. Say, Lord, increase my greatness tonight in the name of Jesus. Shagada bagado, zigede bregede, zagodo bo shigede bregede, yando bo shigede gede bregede. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, glorify yourself tonight. Father, do that which only you can do, o God, and take all the glory and all the praise, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Amen. We're just going to continue. Hallelujah. Let's take our seat for a while. Sorry, we just brought in something that is not part of the program or that I miss out of, we miss out of the program. Praise God. So the choir should just... You will hold on for us for five minutes or so. Praise God. You can stand or you can go back to your seat for a while. Let's put hands together for them. Okay. Let's do more better. Let's do more better. Amen. Praise God. Ah, there's an hour, there, there is. In God said that I am coming very soon with my reward in my hand for every man so there's a reward even in heaven and so also here or now there are rewards and that's why we have promotions and awards and i like us to welcome uh, the, the uh, i don't know how to our, our representative the greater glasgow representative on the uh rccg uh, sport board or sport uh, committee uh, who often leads our people, our brethren to our sports day in RCCG in UK. Uh, Brother Femi Kende 
will come up to uh, make some announcement of some of our brethren who have participated in uh, the last sports day and needed to be to receive their medals. Praise God. Uh, so make welcome brother Femi Kainde as he comes this morning, this evening. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, as we've been hearing this uh, this week about the gift God has given to us. So what we notice that is missing is a coach. Somebody that will teach you how to manifest your gift. You can know how to play football. Uh, I remember when I wanted to uh, start learning how to drive. The instructor told me that you know how to move car. That means something is missing. So I need somebody to instruct me how to drive properly. So I used to play football until I get under a coach that will tell me what to, to do. So we have so many talents among us, but this avenue has been created so that you can have a platform to move to the next level. So um, not to take our time, 2022, we went to Dundee. And before we used to go to London, and there's a sport day coming on the 22nd of July this month for all region. So we will communicate that with us, and that can be shared in our individual parishes. Hallelujah. So I will recognize Bro Toye. Okay. Can we have, uh, let's have Momiola Tuji, can you come and present some to them and then? followed by Pastor Maku and then Pastor Richard. He, he is our current defending champion in table tennis and he won gold medalist. Hallelujah. We won a silver medal in uh, football last year. Uh, our football, we are like 14 in numbers. But it's our goalkeeper here. But we'll pass that, <laughs> pass that on later. Um, Michael, thank you. You are coming. You are one of our 100 meter gold medalists. Pastor uh, Marco, please, can you come and make the presentation? And also, he went to London and won gold as well in London overall. Hallelujah. He is the current RCCG UK 100 meters champion. Yes. Favor. Favor. Adesu. His brother. You can come up. He won silver. Silver medal. Pastor Richard, please. Hallelujah. Amen. So, David Akisonia is not a rabbit. The family member can help him. <laughs> David Akisonia. Deborah Akisonia representing him. Okay. <laughs> Pastor Marco, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the the sport coordinator himself is also having a prize. Uh, he has is a current uh, current gold medalist for in long jump. Brother Femi Kainde. Can Mommy Olatunji come to present that please? Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, let's put them together for the Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, 
the regional sport day will be by july 22nd so please all our parish pastors help us to fish out all our potentials and gifted athletes from our midst and send them to brother kende praise the lord let's make welcome pastor richard as he comes to bring forth the speaker If you're excited in the presence of the Almighty God, shout a loud hallelujah. I believe God that you have been waiting patiently and that hour you have been waiting for has come. And I believe God that as the vessel of the Almighty God brings the word tonight, you will not only receive that which is in the hands of God, but you will receive that which is in the heart of the Almighty God. And to bring us the word tonight, is a man who needs no introduction. For many of us who have started this journey over the last 14 years, but for those who are just joining us, he is the special assistant to the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God on prayer. He is the intercontinental prayer coordinator for all over the world for the Redeemed Christian Church of God. He is the convener. I thought you would be clapping now of the prayer rain, RCCG prayer rain conference. He is our own special father in Glasgow. You know, they are fathers by force. He is a father by choice. By choice, we chose him that is our father. He is our pastor. He is our, our daddy. Come on, on our feet. Let's give the Lord a clap offering as we celebrate the grace of God. Pastor Peter Olawale, Daddy, you are welcome, sir. Thank you, Father God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift our holy hands in honor God. Singing, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh yeah, you are worthy to be praised and adored. Oh, so we be. In one God, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us sing one more time. Blessed be the name. Our Father God is worthy to be praised and adored. And adored, you will be the one only in one God. Oh, singing, blessed be the name. Hallelujah, blessed be the name. Hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Give him praise tonight. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Magnify the only one who is the confident keeping God. The ever constant God. The ever faithful God who have been keeping up for the past 14 years. 
bless the name of the Lord for the growth of transformation experience. We bless you, Daddy. We magnify your name today. You are the Almighty. Let God hear your voice. Let Him hear your voice. Bless Him, bless Him, bless Him. With all that is in you, our Lord is faithful. Our Lord is kind. Our Lord is wonderful. He's marvelous. He's glorious. Give Him all praise. Give Him all honor. Give Him all adoration. Bless the name of the Lord for His mighty hands upon your life. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have worshipped. When we consider the theme of the Transformation Experience 2023, rooted and established for dominion, and you consider what happened in John chapter 2, where Jesus Christ turned water to wine. After all things said and done in that particular narrative, the Bible says, this first miracle Jesus performed in Cana or Galilee, and his disciples believed on him. They were not unbelievers, but something happened that gave them the grace to be duplicated. Something happened that buttressed their faith. Something happened that established them in the deeper dimension. You are going to call upon the Lord. Just a miracle. I just need a miracle that we establish more in you. Pray that prayer. That the Lord will perform that miracle in your life. The miracle that you need to bother your faith, to establish you more, to give you what he called the deep-rooted faith in the Lord. That miracle, that miracle that you need. Pray. Let God hear your voice today. Let him hear your voice. Let him hear your voice. Yes, Daddy God. We give you all praise. Yes, Daddy. Malaka raka sataya probo. To you be all glory. Just a miracle. 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 Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name, we pray. For 30 minutes or perhaps hours, they have been conversation between Philip and Nathaniel. And Nathaniel, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Or what Philip said, come and see. And when he got there, he saw. Ah, Jesus had met him, never met him before. He says, this, in him there's no guy. Ah, how do you know me? Hey, hey. When Philip was with you right here in the fig tree, I saw you. Eh? He laid down, Master. Say, you never know anything. The hereafter, you will see heaven open. They have told you about Jesus. You've read about Jesus. You had all kind of testimony about him. It is your turn to be high witness. It is your turn to experience him. So say, Father, practically, from the throne of grace, let me begin to experience you in a deeper dimension in a higher dimension in a wider dimension oh god give me that grace to know you better thank you father god in jesus name we pray it was in John 4 when the master Jesus met a woman happened to be in Samaria. After all the miracle that he saw and experienced concerning the prophecies and word of knowledge of Jesus, she ran to the city. Come and see someone who had done it. And they all came. 
all the people in the city who came finally said, ah, not because of what you told us, we sin by ourselves. Let's call upon the law. Law, meet me personally. Let me know you personally. Don't need this transformation experience. Let me experience you personally in every aspect of my life, in my marital life, in my social life, in my academic life, in my career life. Let there be a personal encounter that I have with you, God, so that I can be able to say I have been deep in the law, in the deep dimension, in the deeper dimension, in the glorious dimension. Pray that prayer with all your heart. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. In Jesus' name we pray. Daddy, it is practically impossible to thank you enough because our knowledge is limited. We can only thank you for what we see, but what we do not see, there are much more than what we see. 14 years ago, you established this transformation experience. We want to say thank you for all the miracles over all these years. Thank you for all your ministers. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your faithful. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for bringing us into 2023 edition. Take all glory. Take all honor. Take all adoration. Daddy, that which no man can do, that you have been doing in our life whenever we come together yearly, do more this year. Daddy, do more this year. In a way that no one will be able to explain, demonstrate your mightiness. Showcase your supremacy. Just smile on us tonight. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your hymn ascend into heaven. Let someone shout hallelujah. Be seated. God bless you. I want to start tonight by thanking all the ministers that the Lord has been using to bless our life since this particular edition started on Monday. Particularly, want to thank our dear leader and pastor, Liki Sanosi. I believe you have blessed our life tremendously. <laughs> tremendously. He's a man that I love so much because of the zeal he has for the world and to see people being delivered. To God be the glory. I want to thank every one of you who... By the special grace of God, you've made this particular transformation experience possible yearly. If you didn't work with your pastor, it won't continue. So clap for yourself, every one of you. Clap for yourself. To God be the glory. Rotate and established for dominion. Upon the theme that we have been dwelling in right here from Monday. And Colossians chapter 2 verse 7 have been the anchor text which reads, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as ye have been taught abiding therein with thanksgiving. And when we met in the morning, we said, in these uh, four times that we'll be considering this thing, we had the first edition in the morning, the second one this evening, twice tomorrow by God's grace. We said the theme will be considered under three dimensions, which we mentioned the morning to be one, the dimension of covenant, we said two, the dimension of identity, and the third one is the dimension of anointing. We dealt with the dimension of covenant when we met in the morning. 
go to the YouTube, you get the message. I've listened to the message myself when I go back to my apartment. It is a glorious moment indeed to be here. Now we want to consider the second dimension, the dimension of identity. And when we are saying, or when the topic has said, rooted and established for dominion, someone made that one to happen. We are not the one who has established ourselves who have brought ourselves into a deeper dimension. We are not the one who just say, I want to dominate. Someone made it to happen. So we need to have the knowledge of that fellow to identify this fellow. So let us meet our Father who art in heaven to start with. First Chronicles chapter 29. Verse 11 to 12. First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 11 to 12. Dying, O Lord, in the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the heart is dying. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord. And thou art exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee. And thou reignest over all. And in thy hand is power and might. And in thy hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. That is the Father who has established us who has given us the grace to be rooted in him so when you are talking about this our father he's saying because i have established you therefore you are thou have been rooted in greatness therefore you are great thou have been rooted in power therefore you are powerful Thou have been rooted in glory. Therefore, your life is glorious. Yeah. Thou have been rooted in victory. It means you are victorious. Yeah. Thou have been rooted in majesty. Everything about you is in a majestic way. For all that is heaven dying, he dying. God is now saying, you own this thing also. Just because I've handed over to you. He said, die in the kingdom. In other words, you are to rule, you are to reign, because your Father in heaven is in charge of all this, and they have already established in all this. He said, thou have been exalted above all. He said, wherever you go, you are to dominate. Nothing, nothing should lord it over your life by force. He said, both rich and honor come of thee. Oh yes, now that you have been rooted in honor, therefore God is saying, you are worthy, you are honorable. He said, you reign over all. So, no. so when you introduce the Father, the Father, the Father, you are going to just look at the Son. They say, like Father, like Son, or whatever the case. So, having identified our Father, that will take you a glimpse of what we have been established, what we have been rooted on, and so on and so forth. Now, let's consider the identification, the coronation, and enthronement under this particular aspect. And let us see what the Lord has actually made us to become or be in his kingdom. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17 to 21. Ephesians 1, 17 to 21. That the Lord God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, and that and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us, what who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in him 
um, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places far above all principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in the world to come and let let me let me uh bring in certain in we read books and by the special grace of god you don't need to be told i don't need to be told that you are well read but you must have discovered bible is not just a book of information is book of transformation every other book will inform you of what to do what not to do they have no power to impart it into your life my wife is a medical line she works with a particular a, a consultant a medical doctor of a report who is a chain smoker and my wife said you know the implication of this do you know what he said say, ah, is it not something that will kill someone he knows the implication, but he has no power to come out of it. So what I'm reading to you now is not just an information. Yes, sir. You are just going to discover after today, the realm where you begin to operate is different from other things. Yeah. I'm not saying this one to just make you feel good. I'm telling you what the almighty God is about to do in your life. Let's consider Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6 and 7. We are looking at identical renaissance and enthronement now. And had raised us up together. Ephesians 2, 6 to 7. And has raised us up together. And made us sit together. We are in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come. Oh my. He might show the exceeding riches of grace. In his kindness towards us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. And by the time you get to Ephesians chapter 2, 14 to 21, I'm just reading the introduction. When we get to the real world, we'll be, under, we'll be able to understand in the deeper dimension. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14 to 21, for he is our peace, who has made, who has made both one and have broken down the middle wall partition between us. <laughs> Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, Ephon the law of commandment contained in ordinances for to make in himself a twin one new man so making peace and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross having slain the enmity thereby and came and preached peace to you which were far off and to them that were nigh for through him we both have access by the spirit unto the father now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto the holy temple in the Lord, in the law. This happened to be your description the way god has identified you the way the almighty god has given you a crown upon your head i call it coronation the way the almighty god has enthroned you see where you are operating right now in the heavenly places i normally tell people that when the master jesus christ says you are not of the world he's saying we are citizens of heaven living on earth so when I'm coming to this place, I must, I need a visa because I'm not citizen of this place. Some of you here right now, you don't need a visa because you have the passport. That is how we are in God. When we are going to heaven, you don't need a visa because you have the passport. You are citizen of heaven living on earth. So all the things that happen to be the benefit from the throne of grace they are all yours. That's what the Bible is saying here. By the time we are rounding up tomorrow, you are going to understand the total package. But let us deal with certain monsters. And these three monsters I'm referring to you must be slaughtered, must be murdered. Because we have now all, and to many of us here, when I began to read, it's not a news. 
It's not a new thing. We know all these things. But why are we, we have not been living the life that the Almighty God will allow us to live as kings to dominate our environment and so on and so forth. There are three monsters to be murdered. And if you can deal with these three monsters, just the way they feed there with Goliath, I'm telling you all the noise making that have been terrorizing your life from moving forward will be silenced. I'm telling you, all what have been hindering you from fulfilling your destiny in this kingdom will be abolished. Amen. I'm telling you, all the, what you call the, the, the spiritual law gravity that have not allowed you to move on will be cleared off. Amen. I'm telling you, all the mountains that are standing before you with all the snowing and slippery places that are giving you that tip, the discouragement to move forward will be removed from your life. And from this moment, it's not going to just a mere dream any longer. Because there are people who have been dreaming and dreaming and dreaming. They have never experienced the fulfillment of their dreams. But from this moment onward, not just a mere dream, it will be a reality of the power of the Almighty God in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Master number one, inferiority complex. And under this thing, you are, we are going to discover what uh, could have brought inferiority complex. Number one, the factual inherited background and personal status. Inherited background that is real. Everybody could see it and everybody sees it. It is notable. It is not an ambiguous thing, that factual inherited background. It could be from your family. It could be from something else. And when that thing comes away and they're talking about greatness, you look down on yourself. They're talking to someone else, not me. Gideon is a practical example. Ah, the spirit that afflicted and afflicted Gideon the Lord will remove it today from our lives. Amen. In Judges chapter 6, verse 11 to 16. Judges chapter 6, verse 11 to 16. The angels of God appeared to him. We know the story. And verse 12, see the introduction of the angel. Thou mighty man of valor. <laughs> Gideon answered, what are you talking about, mighty man? God is with you. If God has been with us, we are all the miracles. We are all the signs. We are all the wonders. We sort it right there. We declare right there. I don't think God with us. Why have we been neglected? Why have we been abandoned? Why God will be looking at Midianite, dealing with us like this? If God has been with us, so when the Almighty God said, Thou mighty man of valor, listen to this. There was no record that Gideon has fought a battle and won. Yet God said, You are a mighty man of valor. There was no record. We are, today now, you call people out, they receive medals and gold and so on and so forth because they have fought and won in that particular thing. There was no record. That this man has ever fought a battle. And yet God said, you are a mighty man of valor. You may not know how God sees you. But may the almighty God open our eyes to understand the way the almighty God discovers and sees us. Right there in our lives. Oh, what is the mind of Gideon? What discouragement and bitterness against the Amica. Because that what the Bible says, I say my thing, so he speaks. All what he spoke out, he said, hey, Why is it that they strong me about this God? Where is that God? Where is that God now? My daughter once asked me a question years ago. Sir, why is it? That the children of unbelievers do enjoy more than the children of believers. 
The question lasted for about two minutes. I answered that for almost two hours. I mean, but later I was in Belgium and I called her on phone and I reminded her of that question. And I said, daughter, do the children of unbelievers enjoy more than the children of believers? I say, for where? There no way. She had that question because she saw a trace. She saw something that ought not to be. And question upon question, we are asking also all the time. So when we discover a particular factual inherited background, it can hinder us from moving forward. And listen to God here. When the almighty God now told Gideon, Gideon said, do you know what you are talking about? He said, behold, verse 15, my family is poor in Manasseh. That is barrier number one. Monster number one. We are poor in Manasseh. So when you are talking about the family, the, I mean, in, in, in the particular song, we are the poorest. And our family also, Manasseh, we are the, the smallest. Now listen to me, O oh angel of God. So you go and send mercy back to the God who sent you. Not only that, my family is poor. We are the least of the family. As you are listening to me, I am the least in my father's house. So, well, what the coronation that you say you are sending me, that man of fellow, you better go to somewhere else. Lift up your hands, please. All the spirit that is in charge of that particular inferiority complex in you that has not allowed you to act according to the word of faith, according to what the Lord has sent you. All the background that are trying to cast you to the ground. Every power that is trying to force you down is here by concert. <laughs> out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Finally, Gideon arose and he began to see the hands of God. From this moment onward, you will arise. Amen. That assignment will be carried out. Amen. Failure will never be your person. Demanded the goal, the directive that have been set before you, that have been lying there this year, will have been attended to. As you are living here today, the assignment will be carried out. Amen. Every form of discouragement in your life is gone. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All this why you've been asking questions. Upon questions, upon questions, the time has come when the Almighty God will answer. Amen. And by the time God has answered your question, your strength will be strengthened. Amen. And the name of the Lord be glorified. Amen. I command your life to come out of that pit. Amen. Come out of that pit. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And what is the message of God for you to deal with the inferiority complex in your life is Philippians 4.13. Yes, Philippians 4.13. Say after me, I can do all things through Christ who sentenced me. Say it loud that I can do all things through Christ who sentenced me. And I'm telling you the truth. He wanted to launch him into a realm two years ago. That the Almighty Jesus. When he told me, fear greets me because of what he told me. He said to start with that particular realm, you are going for 40 days and nights fasting. No food. 
<laughs> no food. And the fear greet me again. I'm telling you, brother. When on the 35th day, day 35, he said, by 12 midnight, you should stand up and walk around the camp, touch everywhere. I look at myself in the mirror. I thought I was looking at grasshopper. I mean, like a skeleton. Realizing myself, I was afraid. You know, I'm very fat before. <laughs> Tonight I have 40 days. No food. Then I started the journey. The journey started by 12 midnight. I came back home, non-stop at all, no sitting, nothing. I come back by 7 a.m., seven hours. Do you know what I discovered? The time I came back, I had more strength than when I left. There's a power somewhere. <laughs> Say loud that like, I can do all things thing. through Christ, Christ who sentenced me. <laughs> Number two, concerning what will bring about uh, this particular inferiority complex, apart from factual inheritor background and personal status, also we have a noticeable natural inborn disability. Inborn disability. You can find that from the life of Moses in Exodus chapter 4. Verse 10 to 14. Exodus chapter 4. Verse 10 to 14. After everything said and done. Now I'm sending you. Now I am this. No, I mean, I can't go. I can't go. I will go with you. You are going to bring the people out. And this will be the sign. By the time you bring the people out, here you will see the sign that truly. Finally he said, uh, in verse 10. That is Exodus chapter 4. Verse 10. Moses said to the Lord, O Lord, I am not eloquent. Neither is therefore, nor sin thou hast spoken unto thy servant. But I am a slow speech, and of a slow tongue, I am a stammerer. And do you know what I discovered there? The revelation God gave to me. When Moses is talking alone, he stammers. If by the time he stood before God here, he was stammering, it will be recorded. And Moses said, ga, 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 The Bible is so plain. Even Jesus, when he said, Father, I would let this, if possible, let this call pass over, pass over. He would not have recorded that one. But nothing is said in the Bible. That's why the Bible is so real. So if he stammered before God, it will have been recorded. So when he stood before God, he speaks fluently. I know a particular pastor. It has been with the Lord now. When he's on the pulpit, almighty God. When he's not on the pulpit, by calling him but two, he may spend three minutes. Ba, 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 ba. But him on the pulpit, my God, he flows like normal people. So when God, when Moses made this complaint, look at what happened. The anger of God was kindled, verse 14. Don't live here today to incur the annoyance of God any longer. An inability, your refusal, our refusal to do what the Almighty God wants us to do can bring certain level of anger. And when God is hungry, hey, hey, May the Lord never be angry against us. Amen. And that's where Moses calmed down. He calmed down. He calmed down. I don't know what are the uh, physical or natural or what we refer to here as a noticeable inborn disability in your life that are saying you can't do it. And that is crossing a particular, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. They will remind you, have you ever made it in life before? 
Can't you see how your parents have been dealing with you? Have you ever made it in life? From this moment, let it be known to you that the Lord has said, I will go with you. Amen. I can't hear your hymn louder. Amen. Say, I will go with you. Amen. So that is the first monster that must be killed, that must be destroyed, that must be murdered right away. By the time you live here today, let that world, the cross in your heart, I can do all things through Jesus Christ that strengthened me. Number two, the monster that must be killed is grasshopper mentality. It is recorded in number chapter 13. You can read all the way from verse 1. Moses sent the people, go and spy 12 of them, each from one person from each tribe. And they came. They sold Moses the fruit. Say, so we've got there. Ah, at the Lord that promised. So it is. It's the land that they filled with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. We saw it. The Lord is faithful. And suddenly, about 10 of them, they began to say, but <laughs> what we saw there. It's unimaginable. Ah, we saw giant. Ah, we were like dead people. And when Caleb had this thing, and Joshua, in verse 30, that is Numbers chapter 13, verse 30, and Caleb still the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are able to overcome it. What are you talking about? We will go. We will possess it. But one can the voice of a man be able to do among the voice of ten people. That's what happened to Micah, the prophet, you remember? 400, uh, prophet of bad. They say, go king. You will succeed. And one man say, if you go king, you will die. They say, well, I told you it's insane. Go and keep him in prison. When there are majority, the voice of what is called wisdom could be silenced. When everybody is saying, yes, yes, and only you saying you no, know, they say you are insane. Today, if you stand right there in your office and you are speaking righteousness, they will think something is wrong with you. If you want to do it the way it should be done, they say you are insane. The language, everything done in the world today is in the majority. But God is saying, where is Caleb? God is saying, where is Joshua? And if you can cry out, you are going to discover one thing. Listen to what the 10 were saying. First, 31. But the men that went up with it said, we be not able to go up against these people. For they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land which he has searched unto the children of Israel. The land through which we have gone to search it. It is a land that heat up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw, it is a man of great stature. And there we saw the giant, the son of Anak. We came out of giant as we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. We are just like grasshoppers. We won't be able to go. And right there, God said, where? Because you say you will die, you won't reach the promised land. They could not be rooted. They could not be established. And they could not dominate. They could not dominate. Simply because they said, we are nobody. We can't go. I want to beg you, from this moment onward, when the Lord has spoken, believe it. And you are going to discover that be way for you. But let me introduce to you, in this particular aspect of Grasshopper mentality. 
that kingdom where we have the grasshopper mentality, delaying our growth, delaying our, uh, uh, our movement, casting us down, they have a particular law enforcement agent that will make sure the activity is carried out. We call that law enforcement agent fear. Fear. That word they use. Our word they will introduce to you is to make you so small and you see a giant. And do you know what fear will do? They will definitely, definitely close your eye to see the almightiness of God. They will now brought that image in your life. They will close your image. Now, let me look at our pastor. Uh, our pastor, can we stand up? I'll say, just stay there, just stay there. Look at this thing. Um, if I can get a something, okay, let me use this role. Let's say this is the problem. This is the problem. The agents of fear will not allow you to see the solution that is as giant, as mighty as the pastor. Now, if I give you a pen to mess up the body of pastor with this thing, how many of these things can you get out there? But do you know, the fear will now bring this thing before you. And the closer this thing to you, the appearance of pastor is fading off. And the time is coming. The fear will be so great to you that this thing will be closer to you. And cover, I can't see the pastor again, no, because of this thing. Sit down, pastor, please. What is that thing that is known as fear? Whatever is the suggestion that comes to your way that you can't is fear. And they will tell you 10,000 reasons why you cannot. Take, check the Bible. The language of you can. If you find just one, let me know. There's no impossibility. In God. And listen to me attentively. Never, 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 never expect God to speak at your level. Never. In the, in the class of um, literature, we have a professor when he's speaking. Uh -huh. But I discovered that after spending about a um, few months, I began to speak also professorially. On, when he's speaking, oh God, oh God, oh God. He's now a member of Prayer Warrior, professor of literature. Anytime I ask him to pray, on prayer, I mean, on prayer ring, Radia, on prayer ring, I master his words. He, he selects his words. Never, never expect God, please, to begin to talk to you at your level. Mm -mm. He speaks his own level. That is why the Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please him. I mean, imagine, tell the people of Israel to move forward when they saw the Red Sea. Is that reasonable? Joshua, surround the wall of Jericho once in the day. Do that one six times. On the seventh day, surround the seventh time and shout. Is that reasonable? So, when he speaks, don't begin to analyze it. How can it be? Because it's God. If you begin to analyze it, then fear will come. And say, you see, that is a killer. You can see him now. He's a killer. He wants to destroy you. And you begin to say, ah, no, Tom and Tierney. It is true. And so on and so forth. Learn from David. Do you know what? David presented the almightiness of God before Goliath. David didn't report Goliath to God. Find out. He didn't say, God, you see Goliath? Eh? You see now? He's running. No. He told Goliath, do you know what God, my God will do for me today? He will give me your head. I will feed the bells of this particular family with your head today. <laughs> uh, but begin to rejoice. So you have a feed in here. We have a food. Fox, Fox, where you are? I love you. Come. 
and it was so. Find out when the battle was at the register, it was David that ran toward Goliath. He ran toward Goliath. Excuse me, go identify a problem today and go and solve it. Yeah. Where are the challenges? That the, excuse me, the, somebody once said the value of this no. When it, I mean, the strength of everything is no when it is immersed in hot water. You don't know the value of anything. How strong they are until you mess it in hot water. Until you are right there in the battlefield with God. Say, yes, that is my man. That is my girl. That is. You may not know what glory is all about. From today onward, I command fear to leave you alone. That way the Almighty God speak to, I mean, spoke to the people of Israel again and again. In Deuteronomy chapter 3, verse 22, Deuteronomy chapter 3, verse 22, say, Ye shall not fear them, for the Lord your God is a fight for you. He told Joshua in Joshua chapter 8, verse 1, Joshua chapter 8, verse 1, And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear not, neither be ye dismayed. Take all the people of war with thee and arise. And God is speaking to you today. Fear no. Go, arise, and I will give you victory. Amen. Listen to how the master Jesus put it in Luke chapter 12, verse 32. Luke 12, verse 32. He said, fear not, little flock. For it is your father good pleasure to give you the kingdom. He said, little, don't fear. You are little now. Do not be afraid. It is the Father's pleasure to give you kingdom. Now, what is the, may I call it, the prescription for this thing? What is that particular thing I will give to you to go with so that you can terminate fear from your life from today? What has God said? Isaiah 54, verse 15 to 17. Isaiah 54. 15 to 17. Listen to what God said. I will read it. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee, shall fall for your sake. He said, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and I bring forth instrument from the work, and I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. First, no weapon that form against this I prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment that thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the law, and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Say, you have an heritage. It has no weapon fastened against you. If God has said it, then <laughs> I love a particular daughter of mine. <laughs> My wife and I, we were talking about she's married now by God's grace and having children. I mean, she obeyed me to the latter. I mean, oh God, oh God. There one day, the, I think it was in primary school or nursing school. I said, you must finish this food. Oh. You know, the father would say, do you know he ate, he ate, he ate until he could not sleep. And they say, why? As you said, that is there to finish the food. That is how serious it is. When God issues a commandment to you, when God asks you to do something, and he's saying you go, no weapon. Trust him. Believe him. Rely on him. Let me go to master number three because I want you to pray. That will be murdered. May I ask you, what is monster number one? Number two. Thank you. Number three. Present yourself at the Almighty. Present yourself at the Almighty. When you present yourself at the Almighty. Present yourself at the Almighty. Genesis chapter 17 verse 1. Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. And when Abraham was 90 years and older than nine, 
the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty. Understand the word D. In other words, you can't find in anywhere with the Almighty. That's why Jesus will say, I am the way. Your dear didn't say I'm a way. I'm the living bread. Didn't say I'm mm -mm. say I am the Almighty. So when the man decides to see himself as the Almighty, he's in trouble. And when you consider Revelation chapter 19, verse 16, Revelation 19, 16, you see the Bible said there, and he had on his feature and his tie a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There is only one with the King of Kings. When a man decides to be King of Kings, he died to be Lord of Lords, you are just a king under the kingdom of the King of Kings. So when you decide to be on your own, for yourself, around yourself, in yourself, problem will start. When nobody can control you any longer, it's a problem. When you don't have anybody that is your officer, that is, that is, that is overseeing your activities, when you are just independent of yourself, nobody controls you, nobody can speak to you, you don't respect anybody, you're on your way to fall. That's a big question. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 27. 1 Samuel 1, 27. How are the mighty falling? And the weapons of war perish. Don't forget, rooted and established for dominion. Why is it that the mighty falling? Find out the one of whom um, David spoke of here. It happened to be Saul, King Saul. He fell because a time came in his life. He came out from what is called the umbrella of the Almighty. Yeah. See, the mighty will fall the day they come out from the superficial of the Almighty. They think they can do it on their own. Learn from the prodigal son. He left home without, he could make it in his own way. I want to be independent. I mean, I've not yet, I'm, I, I've not died yet. You say in your inheritance, give me. I mean, you hold on your kingdom. I want to stay alone. Do you know why the Western world today are in mess? Because at the status stage, I think 18, they say, your father had no control over you any longer. You see, it's now, it's now 16. It used to be 18 before. Uh, yeah, and it's going to hear, okay. He said, you, your father had no control over you any longer. And you could see what we are having in the society today. Well, you cannot kill your child. You cannot beat your child. You cannot shout on him. You say, I'm independent of my own now. The day the mighty comes out from the almighty, that is the beginning of falling. You can see. Can you tell me any future you see in the youth, in the life of the children, in the life of the youth? They just live a careless life because somebody who has been there for some time now, who had the wisdom, who had the knowledge, who, had, who understand the terrain, they say, no, 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 that is your time. Leave me alone. So the mighty I fall when it departs from the Almighty. Let's learn this lesson. That's what happened to King Saul. So whenever we get to a particular point where nobody controls you any longer, you are not just about to fall, you are already falling. Rooted and established to dominate, to dominate, to rule. Learn from the centurion. When Jesus Christ said, I'm coming to your house. He said, no, you don't need to come. Speak a word. I know you are my own authority. When the time Jesus is speaking, he said, as my father sent me, anything you are doing something, ask yourself, who sent you? As my father sent me. 
The centurion said, I'm a man under authority. I tell, I command this one, see. He does it. That, he does it. It's all happened to be under authority of the emperor of Julius Caesar. And because of that one, he had the authority. Many people today, they have no authority any longer because they are not under authority. And what do you see them doing? They are sort of what is called rainy by force. I am your leader here. I'm your pastor. You have to obey me. So I say, pastor should resign. You must obey me here. Yeah, the pastor, that's why the pastor has lost the credibility. Nobody has sent him. When I was my uncles, you know, we respect, being respected where I come from. You don't call me brother. I'm not talking about language or Christianity, brother. <laughs> and I will beat this young, young something. Come here, brother. Bam. Come here. Come here, brother. Boom. Come here, brother. Boom. All the wife, they are happen to be the wife. They are three uncles I'm living together with the same father, the same mother, with my mother. So I have been there before they marry all the wives. So they call me Akowi. I beat them. So one of them came to me and said, Ah, Kowe, we don't use for to end, brother. <laughs> they spoke in Yoruba language. I feel kuku yebu da. You yourself do what we respect you if they will call you brother. So when people, they, they are not sent, they have no authority, they use force. As long as I'm here, you know me. And they become a terror. Some people, Jesus referred to them as hiring. They are not shepherd. You want to dominate be under the authority. Somebody must be able to say, sit down, yes, sir. You can't see me in Scotland if that DJ has not approved it. I mean, no, no, no. And listen to me attentively. <laughs> if you are on your own and nobody is above you as human being, ah, 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 I pity you. In the day when you need help, it does nobody to pray for you. You're on your own. Somebody saying, oh, wow, it's a real wow. <laughs> again and again and again, mostly we cry to God, oh Lord, you know these people, they are still naked people, but you need for forgiveness, just forgive them, and so on and so forth. God said, because of you, I forgive them. I don't know how many times. I mean, they defeated, they did everything. One day, God said, Moses, I will start a new generation for you. I will wipe them out. Ah, Moses said, you will remember. The Egyptians will now believe. You want to destroy them. That's why you bring them out, you. Don't destroy them. And God said, ah, God will forgive them again. Because nobody was above Moses. To pray for Moses just once. 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 And what did he do? They made him angry. He said, You, you care people, you need water. Take water. Ah! God said, You did not honor me. I said, Talk it. You strike the water. Nobody stood before God and Moses. So if you're on your home, no, you don't have anybody above you. Hey, 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 hey. It's a serious issue. So, uh, one, of the one of the things of the transformation experience that I'm going do in your life, select somebody that you respect, that you fear. Sit down there, yes, sir. Sit down there, yes, sir. I, I have at least two of them. Two of them. If they, hey, hey, hey. Let me give you a, a, a secret. Mami Gio called me to his office, into our office. Mami Gio. Sit down there. Yes, ma'am. Now, I'm not advising you. I'm not counseling you. 
I'm not just, what I'm telling you now is a command. Hey, if I hear that you travel around and you have not spent a week with your family, ah, fire will follow and not the fire of the Holy Ghost. I said, my, yes, ma, yes, ma, because he knew. But my mommy Gio knows the implication, how so many people are falling. Because their family is neglected. They are doing the work of God around the aspect of their family. And he doesn't want this young boy to fall into the same. So, mommy, watch. So, one day, I will go to Zambia. I met mommy Gio a day before. Mommy, and mommy knew. So, she come and see me a day before. And package all the dresses the pastor, uh, pastor wife in Zambia will distribute to all the missionaries and so on and so forth. And mommy Gio says, so. But that night, my wife was in school of nursing that time. She had traveled down. She wanted to see me to the airport and so on and so forth. We wonder, what you call motorways here? I think you call motorways. Oh, that there we call it expressway. It's motorways here. On our way to the airport, I saw the call. I said, Mommy, it's Mommy Jew. Mommy, have you seen your wife before you go? I said, Mommy, hold on for her, sir. She's by my side. Okay, let me stay with her. I don't know what they discuss. Give it to your husband. Ah, God save you. <laughs> Mommy would have asked me, go back from there. You don't have anybody controlling you. You are in trouble. So who is the leader now that God is using to establish you, to stabilize you, and to make you dominate? That question will be answered. I know myself. I can I will tell you. As powerful as Saul, of Tarsus, Apostle, what Apostle Paul, he reports to Jerusalem from time to time. That's why they make some corrections and so on and so forth before he goes. And they have to pray for him also. And Barnabas, before they go, as powerful, his uncastive healing disease, yes, it was under control. As we are living here today, select someone going to be your leader. That is why you can continue to dominate and you will last long. Let's stand on our feet. Thank you, Father God. Go ahead and begin to bless the name of the Lord for tonight. Give him more praise, give him more honor, give him more adoration. Magnify him, magnify him, magnify him. O kalara kasanta raba ba de kisenti kila raba kusoto yao. Ile kila karaba tundi kara katanta raba kusoto yeye kila raba tundo rubi. O kalara raba tundo riki sote ya la raba kusoto riba tundi ya kase. O katata raba kusoto riki sata ya la karaba baba. A kalara katanta raba kusoto riki kila raba kusoto ribo. Kile karaba baba 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 katata raba kusoto riki katata raka sini. Ekila rakata taraba kurukata karaba kusutuli heli kurukata taraba ba 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 hakala rakata tere kala karaba kusutuli ekila kade kala raba kusutuli kasi ni kala kiri kala raba poni kala kasa taya ya heli kiri kala karaba kusutuli kata kajegi hakaraba ba 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 kasi ni Thank you, Father God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. In Jesus' name we pray. Are you suffering from inferiority complex? Commit your life and yourself that the Almighty God will remove every form of impediment, every form of negative background that is trying to cast you to the ground. That the Lord will renew everything concerning you. He will change your paradigm to fit in into this kingdom agenda. Go ahead and begin to talk to the Lord. Go ahead and begin to talk to the Lord. Ah, kore kala ko sotori kala pumo. Kala karenka tatara ba ko sotori keta. Pray, pray, pray with all your heart. Koda ka santa ya poro ka tatara ba. Ye kala raba ko sotori ke santi yo. Pepara la kore kala raba ko sotori. 
Ah, la reka, la reka, sir. Pray, pray, pray. That particular thing that is weighing you down. That particular thing that is weighing you down. Oh, ye ka reka tatara bapo. Le ke reka la reka tatara bako sonde. Oh, le ke reka tatara bapo. Ah, ka reke tete repa panika. Oh, yes, daddy. Glory be to God. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody said that force is strong, Pastor. That very force is very strong. I'm having an answer to you for you right now. The yoke is broken. Thank you, Daddy. Somebody said, it is be simply because of the wrong step I've taken in the past that is militating against me now. I have a good news for you. The Lord is saying you have been forgiven. Amen. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to God in the eyes. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Father. I'm shaking my Baba. Are you right there being reflected by grasshopper mentality? You see yourself so insignificant. And before the enemy, you are like a grasshopper. Call upon the name of the Lord now. Refill yourself to me. Mightier than all my circumstances. Let me see you. In a deeper dimension, a wider dimension, a higher dimension. Just the way David saw you, far, 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 far bigger than Goliath. Let every Goliath before me be so little, so small. Pray that prayer with all your heart. Pray that prayer with all your soul. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. When one gets to a point, when he thinks the Almighty, you are yourself, for yourself, within yourself, around yourself. You want everybody to look up to you, but you do not look up to anyone. <laughs> there will be trouble. There will be trouble. There will be trouble. So right now, I want you to really, really call upon the Lord. You know that fellow that I need in my life to be my destiny helper. In every area of my life, if you don't have any yet, call upon the Lord to give you one. That before the end of this transformation experience, oh God, let me meet my destiny helper. The fellow you have chosen, the fellow you have elected, the fellow you've anointed, the fellow you have brought, that you bring to my life, let me begin to meet that fellow. In the mighty name of Jesus, I need that fellow God. Somebody that I will respect. Somebody that I will fear. That particular fellow God that will be able to speak to my life all the time. Oh, yes, Lord. Somebody that will definitely be... Be, be representing you in my life, oh God. Someone you will send into my life, you send message to my life for David, Almighty God, Matara Kasanda. Samuel was there for him. Matore Kalara Kasanta Rakasan Basiki, Yekere Kalaraba Kototere, Tarabakosone, Yekare Kalaraba Kosote, Tarakasondo. Somebody, oh God, somebody, send them to my life, send them to my life, send them to my life. You want me to be established, you want me to be rooted, you want me to dominate, I need someone. The destiny epa, e kareke da, tareko maneka sataye, ya la roko tote reka sandaya, kanta roko tote, pampa ramba kosoto ye, ye le kareka lara bakoto tere bababa, a ye keranka tatere bapro, ye la kareka lara kasandaya. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. If you happen to prepare to travel and uh, your pastor says, don't travel. 
what will you do? That is what we are talking about. There must be somebody that you need in your life. Someone you call father. Someone you call mother. We are not just talking about uh, religious time. We are not talking about religious time now. Our father and the Lord. Somebody. Huh. Somebody. Someone. I was going to secondary school. Sir, should I go? And I said, yes. After secondary school, I wanted to further my education. He said, no, start the ministry yet. Now, start the ministry now. After that one, you go to school. I mean, somebody that you obey, that you respect. If there was no somewhere, there would be no defeat. Ah, <laughs> there would be no defeat. And I'm telling you, if there, be no, if there was no David, there would be no Solomon. See, the time of the death of Isaiah, he was still prophesying to the king. The king still called my father. Call upon the Lord now. Lead that destiny happen to my life and destiny. I don't want to miss it in life. That destiny ever. That destiny ever. You kalara katonto rike sata ya baba. Tele kalare katantara bako sotiribo. Pim pare kalara bako sotorike santara baba. Haya katente rika sanda. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I this is my father and the Lord. Any time I get to a particular stake in ministry, I go to him. Not only that, from time to time. At the state pastor, sir, I'm a state pastor now. How should I operate? Hmm. He said, make sure you do not eat the food that coming to yourself alone. See your assistant as part of you. Then he makes the statement, it's operation and heat and let heat. That's the reason why you see me. The official at that time, we own it together, myself and assistant. By the time he's going to Lagos, I say, take your official car, go. Let the driver, I'm not traveling now. And then that called me when we were all transferred from there. I became secretary, he was transferred to somewhere. He says it's only in your parish. That the other didn't come, I mean, you're only in your state. That the other didn't come to say to Kore, how did you do it? Because somebody advised me. Somebody is my father. You don't have a father. Somebody said, if you want to go far, there must be a father. I don't know why God is emphasizing this, but the time has come for you to be established. To be deep rooted and to dominate in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, I have Sephra, Sephra Chire. Before they do anything, they say, Sir, what can I do? Let us pray first. And some of them are very funny. I remember one of them trusting the law for the fruit of the womb. For about how many years now? More than 10, 12 years. She woke me up in the night. On phone. Far away. I don't know. I forgot about it. Far away. Pastor. I mean, daddy, daddy, daddy. I'm going to meet my husband now. Go and pray. Go and pray. Go and pray. That this one we are doing tonight. We resort. Go and pray. Go and pray. Go and pray. So I myself went to my prayer room. Almighty God. At this two He could to better. Oh God. Oh God. Is that serious or that? That child is in, that child is about to enter the university now. Of that, you must have somebody, somebody. And <laughs> if that sister is saying, "Hey," there are some of them are cooking. You know, you behave like this. Ah, 
The fear of that the Olawale will beat them will not allow them to misbehave. If you don't have a father, if you don't have, I'm, I'm not talking just uh, my father, uh, 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 uh. somebody that, that been, the Lord has sent into your life to build your life, to monitor your life, to tell you the truth. They are not the one who are going to, who are going to be deceiving you. The truth, the truth, the truth. Lift up your hands. Father, you know my heart toward all these, your children. That they are, from today, will be experienced such a particular being rooted that only you can cause to happen. Amen. Please, the very top root that they need to make them to stand and nothing done all to stand. Release into their lives. Amen. Establish all this, your children. Amen. And give them the grace to dominate. Amen. Send to them destiny helpers. Amen. Particularly the one that you have ordained to monitor the affairs of their lives. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No tree can make a forest. Everybody needs somebody. Plead that. Sense that somebody into their life and destiny. Amen. And let your name be glorified. Amen. Thank you, Daddy, for having answered. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say amen louder. Let someone shout hallelujah. Tomorrow, by the special grace of God, we will consider the dimension of anointing. We have discovered other two dimensions. <laughs> An anointing that breaks yoke. We break all the yoke of stagnancy. No wind of this life will be able to blow you off. Let your hear may be heard in heaven. Amen. God bless you. We got the message. Can we just stretch our hands to our Father and the Lord and release the word over his life? That greater grace for him to succeed in every area of his life, greater, him, greater grace for him to go far. Greater, he, greater grace for him to dominate. Greater grace for him to excel in every area of his life that the Almighty God will endow him. He will not fail as a father. He will not fail as a son. He will not fail. He, wherever he goes, the Almighty God will go with him. In the mighty name of Jesus, that, that the Almighty God will carry him all the days of his life. The hands of the Almighty God will remain upon him forever. The grace of God will continue to speak for him forever. The peace of God will continue to dwell in him forever. Oh, the eyes of the Almighty God will watch over him forever. In including his entire family. Brethren, can we cry to the Almighty God concerning our Father and the Lord and say, Father, carry your son, carry your son, carry your son. My Lord and my God, Father, let his, let his root be deep. Oh, my Lord and my God, Father, let him be deep. Um, let his root be deep in the name of Jesus. Father, let him take deep root deep downward and Lord, let him go higher in the name of Jesus. Let me serve him. Let me serve him in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever he goes, the house of heaven will encamp around him. It will not go astray, it will not fall. May we not cause him to fall. May we not cause him to fall. May we not cause him to fall. In the name of Jesus, his will will continue to come to pass in the name of Jesus. All his will will bring result in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory, we give you honor. Father, we thank you, thank you, thank you for the word that the, your son has spoken tonight. Let him bring absolute result in the name of Jesus. In all our life, let there be testimony. Let there be good news. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Our Father and our God want to thank you. Thank you, Father, for you have used our Father and the Lord powerfully tonight. My Lord and my God, the rest year ahead of him, let it be peaceful in the name of Jesus. Wherever you take him, my Lord and my God, Father, go with your son in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your mighty hand remain upon his life forever. 
Lord, let your peace dwell in him forever. Lord, let your presence go with him forever. Let Lord, my Lord, and my God, Father, Lord, let your grace continue to speak for him all the days of his life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you glory, we give you honor. Thank you for hearing us always. And even now you have heard us. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Sir, on behalf of the transformation experience, and now every one of us in Glasgow, we say we are grateful, sir, for this word. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Very much appreciated. And the Almighty God, we establish you for us in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, sir. Can we give a clap, God a clap offering? Praise the Lord. I think we can do better than that. Let's give God a clap of him. Daddy, we appreciate you. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. It's offering time. I want to quickly read from the book of Exodus 25, 1 to 2. Exodus 25, please get your envelope and be preparing your offering as I read. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel that they bring me an offering of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart. You shall take my offering. Praise the Lord. The Lord love a cheerful giver. Amen. And I want us to dip our hands Amen. into our pocket, Amen. fill our envelope with our offering, and let's raise it up unto the Most High God. Can we please rise as the choir please lead us Amen. in praise? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor that it has come to me for testimony. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Say, neighbor. It has come to me for testimony. Has it come and see what the Lord has done for me? He has given away my sorrow that I am free. I got me pura hallelujah pura. I got me pura hallelujah pura. You say because of Jesus every day na shakara de do. Double in double in every blessings na in na do you see? Ah eh. Say. Like every promise is always the follow. You say ah eh. He has given me victory. Ah eh. He has given me victory. He has given me victory. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Shout hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Oh, shout hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. You done so much for me. I cannot tell you, Lord. Say, oh, if I have ten thousand tons, it still won't be enough. Hey, you say, you say, hey, what shall I render? How to tell? Wonder, 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 wonder. I wonder. Come on, come on, come on. Wonder, 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 wonder. I wonder. Wonder, 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 wonder. I wonder. I said wonder, 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 wonder. I wonder. It can make me wonder over, but I wonder. It can make me wonder. You can make me wonder, Baba. You can make me wonder, oh Daddy. I wonder. What you might get me, oh. To get me so okay. Hallelujah. Oh. 
What's in my yeah, me, oh. Wonder, 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 You say, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy. Come on. My daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my baby is singing. Your baby is singing. Say, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, your baby is singing. Your baby is singing. You say, you say, how will be singing and chanting? My daddy, my daddy. My daddy, my daddy, my daddy, my daddy, your baby is singing, your baby is singing, you say, you say, how will be singing, my daddy, 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 Year of salvation, portraits of God. You say, born of His Spirit. Say, everybody, my story. This is my song. Hey, praising my Savior. Double, 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 double. Of a truth, everything will be double, double for every one of us in the name of Jesus. As we have confessed, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus, multiple blessings shall be our own. In the name of Jesus, in from this moment henceforth, we will begin to experience multiple all of blessing in Jesus' name. Father, we just want to say thank you for this opportunity that we have even to give this talking unto you. Please, Father, accept us, accept our offering in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless us, O oh Lord, that when next we appear in your presence, that, Lord, we will give bountifully in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, as men that does not have, O oh Lord, and they are, O oh Lord, desiring to give, O oh Lord, the God of turn around, the God of sudden turn around, the God of 24 hours. O oh Lord, let miracle begin to imagine all our lives in Jesus' name. No one will lack any good thing in our midst. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord, brethren. Has the Lord been good to you? I don't know about you. The Lord has been good to me. And our blessing shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. Can we please have a seat as I quickly run through the announcement for us? Uh, tomorrow morning, please, we will all be in our parishes to do our Sunday service. 
By his mercy, sister, tomorrow evening, we all gather here for the grand final. Praise the Lord. Our daddy will be here even to bless us. When you are coming tomorrow, come with the heart of expectant. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord will answer every one of us. Before this transformation experience ends, we will all experience our miracle in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. God bless you all. I'm sure that clap is for the Lord Jesus. Let's give it. Uh, sorry, just a quick correction. There was an information. I don't know how many of our pastors have sent out a bank details to Ross uh, as the uh, bank account that we need to redeem our dominion world. Has anyone used the account? Let me see your hand. Has anyone used any account that has been sent to you? Between yesterday night and today, anyone? Not the one on the screen. Have you, or have you have used the, any account that has been sent to you? Either in beautiful gay Glasgow or in any other parishes? Okay, please. This countenance, that, uh, that uh, information, I just discovered that it was wrong account. It's non-existing at all. Uh, I think there was one figure that was changed. I mean, that was not correct. Supposed to be, zero, it should be 215. The account sent was 915. So please, let us discountenance that. And uh, in, this is the real account. All just you need to do is to put dominion wealth in it. Amen. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Let's welcome Pastor Elisha as he leads, uh, closes us. Thank you. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. There's no wonder we'll be blessed. God has blessed us in these few days. And I want us to just rise up. Let's bless his holy name. Let's thank him for all that he has done in our life. Let's just take this song as we bless God. Oh, we are grateful. Oh, Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful. bless you. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you Lord for reaching out to us. Thank you Lord for helping us to be rooted, establishing you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray oh Lord God every blessing Lord shall be permanent in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah God will bless you. Lord we are also saying thank you Lord even as we come again tomorrow, you will help us. You will bless us the more. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Quickly before we, we close, or we take the, share the grace. Quickly, please know that the, the wonders of prayer day is coming. And it will be on the 8th of July. And the city of Glasgow home will be taking place in Fountain of Love, John Chapel, Glasgow. And God will help us in Jesus' name. 
The program resumes again, Sister T. God will help us. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and his message shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. It is well. So, amen. Thank you.